Because remember in Luke, I think it's 24, where he's on the Emmaus Road. Jesus is resurrected. The disciples had seen the empty tomb, and you know what they did? They cried. They were in fear. They're walking around like a whoop dog. Yeah. And who comes up walking alongside them? You know the story, Luke 24? Amen. The Lord Jesus Christ. Now, the Bible says their eyes were holdened. Now, I don't know what that means other than the fact that they did not recognize that it was Jesus Christ. We see that part. But what does it mean their eyes were holding? It means they didn't know what was going on. God didn't allow them to see clearly. God was trying to show them. He just was a stranger to them. And they began to complain to Jesus about Jesus. Imagine that. They began to complain to Jesus about Jesus. We trusted he'd be the one that would redeem us. We thought he was going to come. We just, I mean, they were, they were just poor. Because Jesus says, hey, why are you walking as you're sad? What did they say? What are you, a stranger in the land? Haven't you been reading the headlines? Don't you know? I mean, the entire nation is in, in shock right now. All of Christianity, we're just kind of drunk. We went to the tomb today, and it was empty. What did Jesus do? He began to show them all things in Scripture, the things concerning himself. And by the way, there was no New Testament. It was the Old Testament, all the things concerning himself. And you know what? Their eyes were open. But here's, here's what I want to, I want to draw this out. See, while there was a victory going on, this was the greatest victory in all the world. And yet Christianity as a whole was in fear, hiding, ashamed, discouraged, Luke 24, sad. Their eyes were holding. They didn't understand. Once they saw, once they began to see what Jesus, I don't know what he showed them other than what the Bible says, all things concerning himself. How long did that lesson take? I don't know. As he started in Genesis and showed all things concerning the Lord Jesus Christ. And when he was done, the Bible says they constrained him. Hey, stay with us. We like what we're hearing. They got a little zeal back. They got an excitement back. Hey, we like this. This is wonderful. Did not our hearts burn within us? It made them get excited. You know why? God began to say, hey, there's a plan going on. Let me tell you something, with this coronavirus or anything else the world can throw our way, maybe our eyes are holding and we don't know what's going on. I don't have the answers. Now, I like to guess. How many of you like to guess? I mean, I can speculate, but you know what? I don't know, and you don't know either, but you know what we do know? We, don't, we have the ultimate victory. So I don't need God to come down and explain to Pastor Boyle what he's doing through all this. I'm just going to trust him and say, hey, I don't know how it's going to end, but I know how God has the victory, and he just gives it to us. And so we just have to trust him. Don't be like these disciples that has to make God come down and give you a personal one-on-one -on, -one on why he makes no mistakes and how that this was supposed to happen all along. And by the way, he's not going to do that. He's already given it to you. He's not going to do that. He's already given it to you. You just got to go walk by faith and say, you know what? God gives the victory.